<laughs> when I bring up Instagram, some of you might be thinking of posting selfies or maybe a picture of your lunch. But what if Instagram could be used for a greater purpose, like learning a second language? Social networks are made up of people from all over the world using language to communicate. So why are these authentic language resources not being used more often in the language classroom? I wanted to find out if my Spanish learners here at NAU could use their favorite social network, Instagram, to learn Spanish vocabulary. I conducted a longitudinal classroom-based study in which my 36 students participated for 15 days in a Spanish photo challenge called Instagram LA. Each month, the creators of this challenge publish a list of Spanish words, each word corresponding to a different day of the month. My learners participated by posting an image from their everyday lives that corresponded with the word of the day. They also used the word in context by writing a description in Spanish. You can see one of my students' example posts using the word pelear, which means to fight. <laughs> Additionally, I asked my students to interact with native speakers by leaving comments on two photos a day on the other people's posts participating in the challenge. I evaluated their acquisition of the 15 vocabulary words by administering a pre-test before we started the challenge, a post-test immediately after we finished, and a delayed post-test two weeks later. This graph shows that the average score of 34.7% on the pre-test rose significantly to 85.3% on the post-test and an even higher 90.3% on the delayed post-test. This means my learners not only acquired the words initially, but they retained them quite well over a period of time. I also asked my learners, learners to share their perceptions of the challenge with me. In addition to improving their vocabulary, they reported feeling as though their reading, writing, and overall Spanish had improved. They told me they felt a deeper connection with the Spanish-speaking community, as well as with their fellow classmates. Finally, they said this challenge made learning motivating and fun because they were using Spanish for a real-world purpose. These results tell us about the potential of Instagram as a powerful language learning tool. We know that education is most effective when learners enjoy and can relate to what they're learning. This challenge allowed my students to involve themselves on a personal level with Spanish vocabulary and learn in an authentic and communicative context. My research tells us that we can and should incorporate social networks like Instagram into the language curriculum to bring learning beyond the confines of the classroom and engage our students in meaningful, real-world, and fun learning experiences. Thank you.